Today we're going to see if the 2001 Miami Hurricanes roster can win a Super Bowl in today's NFL. So obviously not all the players from that team ended up making it to the NFL getting drafted so if they didn't make it i gave them a 55 overall that's because the lowest overall player that got drafted from this team was a 58 overall he's a 59 with morale boost and that's daryl jones the wide receiver now i got his rating and all the other players that made it to the nfl and made it into madden's ratings from maddenratings.weebly.com huge shout out to them i mean I, I would not have been able to do this video if not for that website i got the highest overall rating for every single player that made it to the nfl so this is them at their peak you know in the osu video i think i did their most recent one but in the future we're gonna do them at their peak and also we're only using ratings from the start of the season so if you start at like like a 94 then you ended up at like a 98 midway we don't know that okay we can only go off what you started at so without further ado you're looking at him right now ken dorsey at starting quarterback he was a 74 overall in madden 07 his backup is Derek. i'm gonna butcher this last name crude up or crud up i'm sorry either one he's a 55 overall never ended up making it to the nfl unfortunately but at running back we are absolutely stacked okay clinton porus 95 overall in madden 05 you have frank Gore, 93 overall in Madden 11 was his highest rating. And then Willis McGahey, 92 overall in Madden 08, three-headed monster. And we have a solid RB4 in Najee Davenport, 82 overall in Madden 06. We're going to start him at fullback. And then on to wide receiver. We have Andre freaking Johnson, 98 overall in both Madden 10 and Madden 11. And then we have Kellen Winslow to second. Now he's going to be backup tight end, but he's also the second highest wide wide receiver on the team so yeah he's gonna be wide receiver two daryl jones is gonna be wide receiver three and then we have ethanic or ethnic sands once again i'm sorry if i'm butchering these names he did not get drafted but he's gonna be a 55 overall 56 with a morale boost and then we have kevin beard also a 55 overall he didn't get drafted and jason geethers 55 overall as well now winslow was a 97 overall in madden 09 he's a 98 with the morale boost jeremy shockey 97 overall in madden 07 so two disgusting tight ends we also have robert williams did not get drafted but he is on a team 55 overall offensive line very top heavy we have three really really good starters bryant mckinney at left tackle 96 overall in madden 09 behind him carlos joseph didn't get drafted he's a 55 overall at left guard Sherko Haji Rasuli. Great name right there. 55 overall, didn't get drafted. Chris Myers, 93 overall in Madden 13 and Madden 25. Great center right there. Right guard, back to the 55s, okay? Ed Wilkins, once again, didn't make it to the league. And then at right tackle, we were blessed with Vernon Carey, 90 overall in Madden 12. So great tackles, great center. I, I think that that evens out the offensive line. You know, it gives us an 81 overall. Defense is way better. I mean, plus 12 overall. Overalls. If we're gonna go far in this experiment, it's because of them. Sean Taylor, RIP, man, 95 overall in Madden 07. That's where we have him right now. Backing him up, we have James Lewis, who was a 61 overall in Madden 03. And then, of course, arguably the best safety of all time. He gets my vote. Even though I'm an Eagles fan, I love B Dog. Ed Reed, 99 overall. Starting as strong safety, he can play either one, but uh, I had to get both him and Sean Taylor starting. So that's where he's going to be. One of the best to ever do it. It's going to be crazy seeing him out there. At CB1, we have Antro Roll, who was an 89 overall. In Madden 09, he's versatile as well. He can play safety, cornerback. We needed help at cornerback, so that's where we have him. At CB2, we have Philip Buchanan, who's also going to be our return man. He is pretty freaking good, too, at this coverage thing. 86 overall in Madden 05. In the slot, we have Mike Ruff. 81 overall in Madden 06. He's going to be our CB number three. Then we have Alfonso Marshall, who is a 64 overall in Madden 07. So four cornerbacks from that team got drafted, man. That, that's how... That's that shows you how great this secondary was and then three more safeties so all in all seven guys from the secondary in, in, on one roster that, that's crazy and then of course the front seven might even be better than the secondary big vince will fork at d tackle number one 96 overall and the best run stuffers of my generation man growing up i, I remember how good he was uh 96 and madden 12 very fitting for him behind him we have william joseph 78 overall in madden 07 08 in 09 once again 
I'm gonna leave MaddenRatings.Weebly.com in the description for you guys to check it out yourself. If you have any debate on any of these ratings, you can go ahead and do the research for yourself. Yeah, double check if you want. Uh, come back and let me know. Uh, D tackle number three, we have Matt Walter, 63 overall Madden 04, three D tackles that made it to the NFL from that roster. And we're not done yet. Andrew Williams at right end. 71 overall in Madden 05. 72 with the morale boost. Jerome McDougal. 86 overall in Madden 05. Very solid defensive end. And then we have Jamal Green. Who was a 67 overall in Madden 06. Once again, an entire D-line of guys that were drafted from this roster. And finally, the linebackers. Jonathan Vilma at MLB number one. 95 overall in Madden 08. Man and down the middle. We have Daryl McLover, 68 overall in Madden 08. And then we have DJ Williams, 95 overall in Madden 09, people. This is one roster. Given all these one, two, three, four, five X Factors, Antro Roll arguably could have been X Factor. I, I, I wanted to, you know, put a stop to all the, all the madness. So yeah, I didn't want to make them too OP. So I gave him Superstar. And we're still not done. We have Rocky McIntosh, who I could have gave Superstar. But I, I didn't want to overdo it once again. He, he's going to be star. Maybe he'll earn it throughout the season. But yeah, Roger Rocky McIntosh was an 88 overall in Madden 09. Defense is disgusting. It has to be the best defense in the league. 93 overall. I, I mean, where's the weakness? You tell me. Everyone on this defense was drafted. Unlike the offense, you had a lot of guys who weren't drafted. We had to fill in from that roster. And then we are not done yet, people. We also have the kicker and punter. Unfortunately, neither of them got drafted. So they're both going to be 55 overall. We have Todd Seavers at kicker. And then we have Freddie Capshaw at punter. And yeah, it's going to be tough <laughs> when it comes to special teams and kicking. But sim into the regular season. If you guys are new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, destroy that like button. If you want to see more college-themed videos, and uh, let me know which year, which rosters you want me to put in today's NFL. Hurricanes are 5-2 and two halfway through the season. First in the AFC East. Offense looking pretty good. Defense not doing as good as I expected. Ooh, they take an L against the uh, New England Patriots. 24-21. And now they got a matchup with the Chiefs right before the bye week. And this time they get the W. That's what I'm talking about. 35-17. Tied with the Patriots for first in the division. They end up 12-5 first in the AFC East. And they got a wild card game against their division rival, New England. Here's how they finished up. Seventh in points per game. Passing game wasn't the best. Dorsey led the way. But I expected the run game to be what carried us on offense. They were top five in the league in that category. Defense was elite. As expected, sixth in terms of points per game given up. Passing game didn't stand a chance against our secondary. And run game was even worse. First eight games of the season took an L to start. But then went on a nice win streak, lost two in a row, beat the Chiefs right before the bye week, and then continued winning right after that, took an L against the Jets. But we still end up with the four seed. So this was a nasty conference. 12 wins was only good for fourth. That's crazy. Now, there was a three-way tie for second, so that's when it ended up happening. Let's look at playoff rivals. Plus five recognition for defensive players on both teams. Time to finally see what this team looks like out there on the field. He has Mac Jones at quarterback. Hopefully, he has a bad day all right he's gonna start off with a dot to Devonte parker but it's not gonna be a first down looks like this could be a run number two ranked run defense in the league no it's a pass okay not not a bad idea to keep passing it mac in the shotgun we send a blitz i like this play calling beautiful swat i thought we could have tried to get the pick but i like it vilma good job let's see how many they send on second down it's only four and Mac finds a wide receiver in a soft spot. Kendrick Bourne picking up another first down. Not liking how easy they're moving a the football. Here's Ramondre going nowhere. They, they might go up to go with Ramondre. What I say? Oh, we got the block shed. There's a flag. It's probably holding, coming back. Vilma, I think, was getting held by number 60. Let's see what they call. Let's go. Yes, sir. Pushing him back. David Andrews. Yes, there's third and six now instead of that huge first down. Gasicki and Henry in the game. Mac faces some pressure, going to throw it away. Nice play from the D-line. Let's see if they attempt the field goal. Yes, they are. This is going to be about 53-yarder. It has the distance, the leg, and the accuracy. They're going to take the 3-0 lead. Oh, wait, never mind. It did not have the accuracy. And now we have incredible field position. I thought for sure he made that. But I, I guess it was wider, right? I, I don't know. Either way, I'm, I'm grateful. Now we have a chance to take the lead. No, we get ball at halftime. Andre Johnson with his first catch of the game. Dorsey, one of one. Let's see if he decides to keep on going to him. 
was third down to three. I form formation, play action. He got me. And they got the first down. Nice play. Jeremy Shockey keeps the chains moving. Four man rush against Dorsey. He's gonna step up, throw a bullet. Keep the chains moving once again. Daryl Jones, probably up into the low 60s, maybe mid 60s by now, you know, near the end of the season. Team's going to win a lot of games, so his morale has to be pretty high. Anyways, Dorsey stepping up again. Another nice pass. Johnson getting us inside the 30. Once again, we're going to pass the ball. I'm liking this. Oh, yeah. Andre Johnson touchdown. What a dot by Dorsey. The Hurricanes take the first lead of the game. Third down and two. Chance to get a quick three and out. Bunch to the right for New England. Ramondre up the gut. Will Fort with a nice block shed. And we get the stop. Let's go. That was all Vince right there, man. Making Ramondre redirect where he was running. And then the rest of the D-line did the rest. Beautiful play. So he forced a punt. Have a chance to go up two possessions. Fair catch. Bob Buchanan. Dorsey was 5-5 five of five on the last drive. Hopefully he can keep that momentum going into drive number two. I form now. He can run the ball if he want to. We haven't really ran the ball like that. And hey, the passing game is going crazy, so why not keep on throwing it? 6-6 six six for Dorsey. He's hype. Brings up a second down and two. Dorsey, all kinds of time. Credit to this offensive line. Oh, that, oh no! Jelani Tavai, much like the pick he had uh, in the game the Patriots played over the weekend. If you saw that, you know what I'm talking about, where he tried to lateral it before he got tackled and the ball went out of bounds. Once again, they might have to give him tip drill. Or one of those type of um, abilities because that was nasty. He tips it to himself off his own knee and then catches it. That, that's disgusting. You can't even be mad. Like, good job by him. But the only problem is now the Patriots have amazing field position. What a hit right there by intro roll. Stopping Devontae in his tracks. Hopefully you get a sack. Tag for a loss. That'd be nice. Push them out. Make sure they stay at zero. It's going to be a pass right here. Gasicki going nowhere. I'm loving the tackling from this defense. That time, I think it was Jonathan Vilma with a nice play. Not a fan of how far we're playing off their wide receiver at the top, Kendrick Bourne. Uh, it's a play action. Ramondre with a nice chop block, but it's going to be an incomplete pass. Fourth and two. Good job by the defense holding them to three. Now, let's see if this time he ends up making the field goal. I just gave them the benefit of the doubt on the first one. This time, from about 53... Okay, it's good. So they finally get on the board. Chad Ryland, I believe, gets them their first points. Back on offense we go. Dorsey has been killing it, but that's back-to-back -back risky passes. Or, or just great plays from the Patriots defense. I think I'm going to go with the latter because I, he was killing it before those plays. Just an unfortunate interception. Finally, we run the ball. Portis not going down easily. Only averaging two yards a carry, though. Big third and eight. We reach the two-minute drill. Comes the blitz. Dorsey doesn't see it. And he fumbles the football. Patriots are going to get great field position. It's been a disastrous few plays in a row for quarterback Ken Dorsey. Two turnovers in about four plays. But, hey, game is far from over, man. If we go hold in three, that would be beautiful. Even if we get a, a touchdown, we get ball. To start half number two. Oh, that could have been picked. Mac Jones threw a laser. I got to give credit where it's due. Patriots take the lead. First down. Great protection. Dorsey once again lofted it up right into the hands of a Patriots defender. It looked like it was going to be completed to Winslow instead. New England gets the ball. Three turnovers. What is going on, man? We have to stop the turnovers. Got to fix it. Heading into half number two. Still plenty of time. Only down three. Henry staying in bounds after that reception. All right. I'm not sure if that's a good or bad thing. I feel like we just want to move on from this quarter. Patriots use their timeout. Mac Jones all kinds of time. Throw it. Never mind. He gets hit as he throws it, almost an interception. He's lucky that it wasn't a sack or a sack fumble, much like the one Dorsey had. Third down to five, clock stops once again. Another incompletion, let's go. We still have all three timeouts, and we're going to get the ball back. Nice play by Buchanan, forcing them to punt the football. 59 seconds, still have all three timeouts. Winslow with his first catch. They're going to use their first timeout. Second and four, Dorsey in a shotgun again. Uh-oh. Oh, that's an incomplete pass. That's great defense right there from their CB. It's going to be a third and four. I knew his Patriots defense will be no joke. Just because they're not having the best season in real life does not mean they don't still have a lot of talent. On both sides of the ball, Andre Johnson, did he get the first? Yes, let's go, great catch, keeping the chains moving. Now we're down to one timeout, but we have 49 seconds to get in field goal range and tie this bad boy up. Only need about 20, 25, maybe 30 yards. Another one. Oh no, another one. 
Dorsey just cannot help himself. He was having such a good game. Gotta do something on his drive. Tie it up, take the lead, anything. Just don't turn it over, Dorsey. There we go. Nice dot to Kellen Winslow getting the first. Oh, man. Please, no more interceptions. I don't want to have to switch out the quarterback. We're not trying to put Derek in the game, all right? That's a 55 overall. We don't want to have to do it. There we go. Yeah, just take what defense is giving you. Are the Patriots going to send a blitz? Yes, they are. We're going to run it with Portisto. He gets a nice game. Biggest run of the game. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Right guard eventually was going to get beat easily. All right, that's a 50-something overall. Can't expect them to block amazingly, if that's a word. Every single play, okay? It's not going to happen. I'm surprised it hasn't happened more. And Dorsey has had as many clean pockets as he has. Winslow gets a lot of the yards back, making it a third down and short. Let's see if Dorsey goes back to him. Now that Winslow is in the zone, third down and six. Dorsey going to escape the pocket. Yes, sir. Throw the run. Incomplete pass. This would be, I think, a 59-yarder, 60-yarder. We obviously don't have the uh, talent at kicker to make that happen. So that's unfortunate. I'm gonna have to punt the ball. And yeah, the punts aren't gonna be amazing either. That's not bad though. 23 yard line, not the best field position. Didn't turn the ball over, that's a start. Now it's up to the defense, get a quick stop. Oh, nice block shed. And we forced the interception. Sean Taylor with the INT. It was only a matter of time before him and Ed Reed made plays. Beautiful job getting us into the red zone already. One of the best safeties of our generation. Sad that his time ended early, but let's look at that one more time, man. I think it was Vince Wilfork with the pressure, forcing Mac Jones to get rid of it. Sean Taylor, the ball hawk himself, rising up, getting that one. Portis, now that's Frank Gore with the cutback. There's a flag. Holding on first down pushes us back into a first and 20. Dorsey gonna dump it off to Winslow, who's been killing it in this game. Been his favorite target. Five for 46. He's better off just continuing to go to him. I I'm telling you, these two great tight ends, one of them is gonna be covered by a linebacker. So there's always gonna be a mismatch. Man coverage again. Oh, that was almost intercepted. Dorsey almost had number four. That would have been disastrous. Instead, third down and 10. Luckily, we still have the football. I don't know if he can make this field goal. I really don't. I don't know how he made the PAT, to be honest, with a 55 something overall. Dorsey going to take off. Scramble down inside the 10. It's a fourth down and two. I hope they take three. Let's go. Okay. They should be able to make this, right? 55 overall. Please. Please, mate. This is about an extra point distance. And he makes it. Let's go. Tie game. One of the biggest plays of the game. I think it's going to be a quick pass. Hopefully it's a run though. I trust our run defense. No, it's a pass. What I say? Mac Jones. Nowhere to go. Mac throwing it out of bounds. What a stop by this Hurricanes defense. They're going to punt the football. Dorsey has a chance to get a game winning drive. Second down and six. Back to the run game we go. Portis carrying folks. Could this be a quick three and out? Third down and two. Needs to throw a bullet. Actually, or, or, or just hope that is running back. Pick up the first. Nice juke right there by Portis. We're across midfield. First and 10. Last play before the two minute warning. Man covers. Dorsey going to take off slide after a nice gain. All right, here we go. Do or die. Crunch time. Dorsey over the middle. Johnson against Tavai. That's a mismatch all day, every day. Andre Johnson. One of the best wide receivers of all time. Todd Seavers for the game winner. The Hurricanes are headed to the divisional round. Let's go. I'll be honest. I don't know how we won that. It's news to me that we were able to win the game with Dorsey turning the ball over four times. Talk about resiliency, though. I mean, credit to him and this offense for not giving up defense, for stopping the Patriots offense multiple times. Sean Taylor, that huge interception. Next up is Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Fifth best offense in the league seventh best defense this is going to be tough let us sim straight to the end and see if it's a close game if it is in the fourth quarter we hop right back in the ravens strike first in this one we answer with a field goal of our own hold them to a field goal on their next drive then we answer back with a field goal but they get a touchdown so far we have not scored any touchdowns i spoke too soon two point game I actually make it five as they are in the red zone looking to extend their lead to eight hopefully that's all they do if they go up multiple possessions, game could be over. Lamar on third and five. Going to throw it to the end zone. Incomplete pass. Keaton Mitchell, the intended target. It's going to bring up a fourth down to five. Tucker's not going to miss this. So eight-point game. I mean, it's only one possession. Dorsey has two timeouts. 
Plenty of time to work with. First play of this drive, of this final drive. Dorsey gonna complete it, but it's inbounds. Here comes the no huddle. Al Shockey on the reception. Ravens playing a little bit of zone. Dorsey gonna go down. They used their second timeout, third and 14. I need the O-line to tighten up. Need to give Dorsey some time. Ravens send a blitz. Dorsey goes down again. And it looks like the hurricane season is gonna come to a halt in the divisional round barring a miracle another blitz o-line just wasn't good enough quarterback just was not good enough for this team and the ravens play spoiler in this one so that's how the season ends for the 2001 miami hurricanes roster man great run game gore had a touchdown portis was cooking great tight ends you had an elite wide receiver and andre johnson O-line was not nearly good enough. They had three really good O-linemen, needed probably four or five. Unfortunately, defense was really good. They did their thing, you know, didn't get blown out. So it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. You know what to do. Destroy that like button. Thanks for watching to the end. And I'll see you on the next one.